In any household, there are inevitable squabbles over the chores, but one really attracts more heat than others. That's the laundry. It is a tiresome task. And for the doer, the last thing you want is someone messing up all your hard work. We all know how that feels. Rain O'Connor has a quick fix for those laundry dramas. Picture this, you've just finished a load of washing. The whites are where they should be, away from the darks. The ironing and folding is done. Things are as they should be. And the next person who comes behind, perhaps a male, might not see that order. The other scenario, which of course we see at e-laundry all of the time, is the lady of the house coming in, please save me, with all of her whites with dark ink all over them because her loving husband has thrown his darks in with the whites. So wouldn't it be great if there was another way to gently remind your family members or housemates other than nagging them? Well, owner of e-laundry, Tony Marie Bishop, has come up with the solution. Basically, it's to be bright. It's so that you can see it in the laundry basket when there's a note left on it for the next person behind you so that you can't miss it. Forget post-it notes. This labelling system is a simple and effective way of maintaining your work. One pack retails for $14.95 and can be ordered online or bought directly from e-laundry. Now there are 15 cards in the Dirty Dozen pack and if you're wondering why, Tony Marie says it's because when you're down and dirty, you always get more than you bargain for. Someone who finds this frequently is family man and 96.5 radio personality Liam Renton. Every now and again there might be a note left for me to pick up a bit of the slack and do some washing and then there might be a a little bit of a lecture when she gets home that I possibly got it wrong. <laughs> we literally have a peg with a magnet on it and a sign that can go on the fridge it's for the first person who gets home, albeit from school, uni, work, whatever, please take off the line before it rains again. Liam's wife Amy says it's about time he had a lesson in home economics. He sometimes thinks doing the washing is just putting everything into the machine and just leaving it there and forgetting about it and saying, oh, the washing's done. I think it'll be really good, you know, even things like soaking, dry cleaning, lights and darks and all of that. I think it would be, yeah, helpful. Any help I can get, I will take. Now, Liam, are you ready for your lesson? Yeah, today I'm doing one for the blokes. It really is very simple and the cards are just going to make it even easier. Great, let's go. That's a light colour, that's where no, I get confused. Clearly, we might actually end up with a whole lot of all of the same blue or green and we might do a load of oh, those okay. on their own. It doesn't matter what shade of white, like the white, the off-white, the bone, the ivory, the beige. Matter, but of course, if it's got something very, very bright on it in the way of a design on the front, we want to stop and think about that one for a second okay. too. While Liam passed Tony Marie's class, some other lessons he's yet to learn are read the label on clothing to ensure fabrics such as silk are left for dry cleaning. Temperature is also important. Colours should be washed in cold to warm water, whereas whites in a hot wash. And just in case he forgets some of those tips... Amy, these are going to help. But this one will keep him in line. Great. And some of your drink? Get you a drink, hey? Oh, it was apple juice. There was something Daddy was supposed to do. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> 